Hi, so in this video we're going to start talking about direct proportion. Now these are generally um, A, B grade questions at GCSE level. Um, however, it is fair to say that they're relatively, they should be fairly relatively straightforward because uh, pretty much most people have had direct experience of working with direct proportionality. What we mean by that is that if we're looking at, say, an equation, as one side of the equation increases, so the other side is going to increase as well. So a very good example of that would be, say, earnings. Um, let's say in the UK that um, you, uh, you work at a job and that, jo that particular job pays you £8 per hour. Um, or let's say in, in America it could be, um, oops, <laughs> that's wrong, <laughs> it, could be, uh, <laughs> it could be a dollar sign, so it could be uh, $15 per hour, or whatever it might be, whatever your contracted pay is. The point is really is that this is constant. So if we wrote that out as an equation, we would write it out as something like E for earnings, equals, uh, let's say, $15 multiplied by the number of hours that you work. So in other words, if you work more hours, you're going to earn more. Um, if you work less hours, you're going to earn less. Um, the main thing about it is this 15 is constant. It doesn't change. So the way direct proportionality works is that we write it as something like E is directly proportional to... Um, K, which is this 15 bit, this K means the constant um, of proportionality. Okay, I think that the reason they've used K as opposed to C is because it differentiates it a little bit um, from other equations that use C, but K is the constant of proportionality. Okay. Right, um, and that would be E is proportional to K, in this particular case, times H. Alright, so that's the general idea with uh, direct proportion. Um, an exam question, generally speaking, will use some kind of equation like that, ask you to work out the constant of proportionality, and then use that constant to calculate something else. Okay, um, generally speaking, these types of questions are worth probably about uh, three or four marks. I'm just going to refer to my notes um, with this particular question, which is an A grade question, but it should give you some idea of how these particular questions work. Um, it does refer to uh, dropping a stone down a well. Um, so just as a, I'll write it underneath in the description box and also if you go to uh, mathrap.co.uk you can have a look at the question and I'll put it on there as well. Um, but basically it's a stone being dropped down a well and after um, 0.5 seconds um, it's reached a velocity of 4.9 metres per second. So 0.5 seconds it's travelling at a speed of 4.9 metres per second. OK, so in other words, there's a directly proportional relationship at that moment uh, between the distance, um, or the, the, sorry, the time that the stone has uh, entered into the well and the speed at which it's going. So what you're asked to do is to work out the constant of proportionality and then use that information with when the stone is a little bit further down the well. OK, so what we've got here is that it tells you that V is equal or proportional rather to KT. Alrighty. So the velocity is 4.9 meters per second and again you've got to make sure that you've got the same units because you need to make sure that in order to calculate k um, you're using the same units throughout your equation so it's k times 0 0.5 okay so in other words we need to find use this information to find out the value of k and if you put that into a calculator that will give you a value of k as 
eight. So in other words, it's 4.9 divided by 9.8. So at that moment, the value of k is 9.8, which is constant. And actually, um, that's true because the, um, uh, the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second. So those um, uh, numbers that have been used are very accurate. And then the question goes on to ask you to calculate the speed after 1.2 seconds. So in other words, we've now got a formula which is V equals 9.8, which is the value of K, multiplied by T, which is the time. Okay, so in terms of the question, it'd be V 9.8 times, I think it's 1.2. So after 1.2 seconds, the velocity equals 11.96 meters per second. Okay, I hope that's okay for you and it should give you some idea of how we work with direct proportion. Um, I will post the uh, video onto mathsrap.co.uk and on there there is a quick test that you can download and have a go at some of these questions and also I'll put um, a copy of the actual question in the description box on the YouTube channel as well. There is a playlist um, and that will talk about um, indirect or inverse proportionality in the next video. I hope it's been useful to you. Please do post, pin, tweet, uh, subscribe. If you um, want to ask a question, if you add a comment below, then I will get back to you and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.